Hey everybody, it is Margaret, and we finally got the technical issues ironed out. Woo! Uh, yeah, so hello, it is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today I thought I would bring you guys a video about trending topics. This is something that I look at a couple times a year at least, uh, more so now that I do merch. But it's something that I was just talking, I was on Jason's show, Thrifty Business, a couple weeks ago, and it was one of the thrifty tips that I gave, and I realized, I don't think I've ever actually shared my process and what I do as far as looking at trending topics. So I thought I would share my process and how I view and what kind of things I look for in trends um, to not only create like shirts for merch by Amazon, but also to keep on top of what kind of things I might want to pick up when I'm out at garage sales and estate sales. Um, if you're new here, hi, um, I make money selling online, eBay and Etsy, and I make shirts print on demand for merch by Amazon, Printful, Etsy integration, uh, and some other print on demand platforms. So if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe. Um, also, I did create an ebook. It's free. Um, you can get it for free, or if you want, it gives you the option to get leak tips. I won't say no. Um, it's down in the description box below, and it is um, Trending Events 2018. So there are predictions and trends. Some things are expected things that are going on this year, and other things are more maybe year specific or unusual that are things coming up. Um, and of course, new things happen all the time, so I, I haven't updated it. But anyway, it's down there, so you can go download it for free. And yeah, all right. So let's move over. I am live, uh, so I'll pull the chat up in just a second. I just want to make sure I get all the bells and whistles done. But I think I have said everything I need to say. Okay, so I do look at trending designs, or not just trending designs, but trending topics and ideas, predictions for the new year, um, to kind of do a projection of what kinds of things I want to make as far as um, shirts for designs, for print on demand, and then also what to pick up because um, it's good to get ahead of these trends and not just you know, now Jumanji's out. I keep using Jumanji because it's popular right now. You know, Jumanji's out now. Sure, I might find something, but if I knew or, you know, had it in the back of my mind that this movie was coming out, you know, coming up soon, I could have been on the lookout when I was out at garage sales and estate sales for anything Jumanji related. Um, I recently sold some Paddington gift wrap that I picked up. So it's that kind of thing. So the first thing I'm going to share is so basically hang on let <laughs> make sure I got it all um, so yeah the first thing I'm going to share now I don't generally sell clothes but it's something to look at so if you are a big clothing seller um, what you'll do is basically Google um, trend you know fashion trends 2018 but here's the main tip that I would give you is not just to take it from one site um, so find a few different sites reputable that share you know trends and things like that. Go through them and see what's the commonality on all of them. You know, and see you know is it bright bold prints on all of them? Is it women's suits on all of them? Is you know so it's that kind of thing that you want to see um, threaded throughout. Also, you know with with any of these things, take it with a grain of salt because some of them you'll start looking at and you realize wow, I thought I was looking at trending toys and all of a sudden I'm realizing you're a toy, you know, you're trying to sell me these toys. So sure, it'll be a trend if I buy it from you. You know, everybody comes and buys it here. But so using many different sites to look. So this is what I do. I'll open up a number of different tabs and just scroll through and see what I see. So these are some of the ones I was looking at. Again, I don't sell a lot of clothes, but I do sell jewelry. So I did get some ideas for kind of what things might be trending in jewelry. Um, so this was, I thought I had this, I thought it was a scrolling thing, or maybe it was until I messed with it. So like geometric prints and lady suits, and this is almost like really hard for me to wrap my brain around because fashion like this doesn't translate into fashion in the stores and in real life. So uh, yeah, let's see. So here we go, you know, again, it was bright colors, bright magenta, then there was, um, this is sparkly stuff. So these were things that I saw 
across multiple sites. Again, um, Technicolor animal prints, so not just like regular animal prints, but bright, like hot pink zebra or whatever, you know, um, suits, statement tights. This reminds me of so the late 80s. Okay, shush, I don't want your ads. I don't want your whitening stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, let me pop into the chat real quick before I jump into some of the other trends. Some of them are not super new trends that I'm going to share. Some of them are rollovers from last year. Um, but let me do a little bit of shout out. Go over there and hit the thumbs up to you guys uh, while I'm doing this. And hang on, let me condense this chat real fast so that it will be easier to read. Oh, it's, I need to do it over here. That's why. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, so hello, Madeline and Casey Kara. Um, hello, Tiff's Thrift <laughs> and Eric and um, Cloves and Roses. Hi, Neil and Kristen. Hi, City Thrifters. And Rick, Kate, I always say your name wrong. Cam Riggs. Leslie, Veranda. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm so glad you made it sustaining my spirit. And if you guys have questions or comments as I go along or more tips, definitely uh, leave a comment or a question in the, the comment, the chat here. And if you're watching later, leave a comment letting us know what kinds of things you look for as far as trends and how you get a ahead of that stuff. I know I, you know, I, I don't, I hadn't been keeping up with the news, but I just saw that. Um, right, honestly, like right before we went live, I was talking to some friends about this. So yeah, crazy colors. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to say hi to everybody, but hello, hello, everybody. So glad you made it. So the next thing that I wanted to keep, of course, the cat's playing now, but in the other room, so I can't spray her. So the next thing, um, and this could go as far as, now, let me back up. We were talking about, you know, the fashion stuff, so I try to think about how I can parlay that into reselling and print on demand. So, you know, the, those crazy bright colors, the crazy bright animal prints, you know, if I'm looking for stuff out and about, that'll be something. It reminds me of Lisa Frank, you know what I mean? So Lisa Frank stuff with those bright animal prints. Um, if I'm creating a shirt design and I've got some kind of zebra, I mean, I have a zebra shirt up right now that's just like a black and white zebra. I could totally go through there and fruit stripe that baby and pop it back up and have, a, you know, something that might be desirable. So I try to break my mind up into, you know, how I can, can use this as far as that goes. So some of the other things that I was looking for um, was just basic trends. So one of the big things that I saw cryptocurrencies, which is big. Um, so how you would look at something like this, as far as reselling, I don't know. I mean, if you found a shirt or something that, you know, was geared towards that. But I know some friends have made cryptocurrency type shirts. I haven't, um, but I know some friends that have, I think Chris Thrift Shop Hustler has done pretty well with that. Uh, and I'm sure there's other ways to roll that into, you know, reselling, but I, I haven't gotten there yet. But it, these are one of the big things that I've seen out there. Um, the next thing is anything to do with women's empowerment. So, sorry dudes, um, <laughs> it's the year of the woman. Uh, so anything that has to do with women, you know, being in power, women, I'm trying to think of how to word it, um, you know, just, I can't think of the words, honestly. You guys can help me in the chat. But yeah, um, anything to do with that, I mean, I think even, it'll come up in a minute, but anything to do with, like, the women's movement, women's live. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Um, so, that. All right. Um, as far as reselling, you just have to keep your, keep your eyes open for that kind of stuff, but shirts for sure. All right. So, another thing are the funky holidays. Now, I have made shirts for Funky Holidays and, and have done okay with that. So we're thinking like, you know, like Talk Like a Pirate Day or National Pancake Day. or And I put some of those in the in the ebook. Not all, because there's a bunch. You could totally just Google that. and But some of them are, you know, they're like Donut Day and things like that. So I have donut shirts that I have made, you know, or if I'm out and I know National Donut Day is a big deal. I might pick up stuff that has to do with donuts, you know, or talk like a pirate day, or these kinds of things. So um, this is something that 
is they're saying is going to be on the rise, people enjoying this kind of thing. So Friendship Day, International Coffee Day, work, work, <laughs> Naked Gardening Day, which I have heard of. If you haven't, so yeah. Um, so those are some some other options that are out there. I don't know how you would market to world to working naked in the garden. You know, like I'm sure for that, like <laughs> wish I was naked in the garden or something. I don't even know. Um, but anyway, these are some of the other things. So, but this is kind of what I do. I'll go through, look, and try to 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 ask myself, how can I use this for reselling? How can I use this for print on demand? And if you if you do something else, then you you know you just ask yourself those kind of questions as well. So another thing that is trending that I've seen on a few different sites, the the next two kind of go together is sort of the new age healing and um, natural remedies, and it, it had a a big surge a while back, and now it, it looks like it's coming back again. I think it's so almost like the this balancing act between things being so techno and so uh, um, artificial intelligence and augmented reality, and and some people, you know, just want that opposite spectrum of time to just cut off, you know, unplug and go back to nature. So. Finding things that have to do with, I, I mean, I'm thinking wind chimes and like I, I end up giving it to my sister, but anything to do with that kind of thing, relaxing, calming. It was one of these little wind chimes that you put the batteries in it and it blows the little fan and wind chimes. Um, I could have probably sold it for 30 or more dollars, but I gave it to her instead. Um, so there's that. Um, I also pulled up. You know, this was on another site, you know, about the trending topics. And it's, you know, natural remedies. Oh, I said, what number was this? Um, la, 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 la. Number 12 on this page. Just to say, okay, so this is more like, I don't want to say fruity, but, you know, more further out there, you know, the era of lunar everything where it's the horoscope and the Chinese zodiac. And so finding things like that. Um, are things that might also be something that's trending. Now, I, I generally don't have a problem. Like, if I see mugs that are Chinese New Year or Zodi, I mean, I've sold things that have Taurus or Year of the Monkey or whatever. This is Year of the Dog, so I'm sure people Year of the Dog are just going nuts for stuff like that. So definitely keep anything to do with essential oils and aromatherapy. Yes, yes. I don't, I, again, I don't, Unless it's new, personally, I don't sell a whole lot of that, but it's it's out there, right? Okay, let's see. I don't think I've moved on yet. I think we're still talking about this. So this was another one of the, it kind of ties in. Anything calming, anything just relaxing are things to kind of look out for as well. And again, this is what I'm looking for. So, And I try thinking, okay, well, how can I roll this into a shirt idea, you know? How can I... Make a shirt that has to do with unplugging, relaxing, zen. You know, I got that zen, that Buddha board. Do you guys see that? I posted it on my Instagram, I think. But it's just like this little white board, and then you put water in this you paintbrush. I was going to sell it. It was, I think I picked it up for a buck ninety nine at Goodwill. And it was, I could have sold it for like 30 by, 35, 40 bucks. Um, but we decided to keep it for now because we're having so much fun playing with it. It sits in our bathroom and then we just like write messages on it and anyway. So yeah, things like that. And then and then the water evaporates and you've got this little white board again. It's really cool. So it's like aqua doodle for grown ups. You know what aqua doodle is. Um, hi, hi everybody in the chat. Okay, sorry I didn't get a chance to pop back in. Um, hello, Julie. Higgy, is that, okay, it's Danish, you can find plenty on, okay, oh, is that, are those those couch things, is that what, or is that something else, I don't know, anyway, you love your Buddha board, yeah, I, yeah, we were going to sell it, I was like, I knew they were expensive, because somebody on a local garage sale site was selling a mini one for like 10 or 15 bucks, so when I saw the full size one for a buck 99, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this and sell it, and then we've just been having too much fun with it, so, hey. There we go. Okay, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> okay, so the next, okay, was this another one? Oh, 
I think I did this one already. Eight. I wrote notes to myself. Oh, this one has to do with chakras and meditation. So this is another thing. Number eight, you know, home decor goes woo-woo, you know, as far as rocks and plants and just, I don't know. All I can think of is like zen, just like calming things. So, um, and then another one on this page. Again, I was looking to see which ones kind of had a common thread throughout other sites that I saw too. So this was another one. So yeah, I keep pulling up the same site. <laughs> Okay, so another one that I saw a lot of was about augmented reality. So it's not like AI, but it's like, like the, have you seen the commercial where it's like you've got your phone and it looks like there's stormtroopers, you know, or the... The things where you make your face look like a basketball, the, oh gosh, my brain, the, my brain just is not working today as far as, what do you call that? The filters, right? The face filters. So stuff like that or things that when you hold your phone up over stuff, it, it creates images like, like Pokemon Go, you know, more of that kind of stuff. Now, how you would do that as far as reselling, I don't know, but sure, it's for sure you can think of some augmented reality ideas for shirts. So it says forget virtual reality, augmented reality is here. So pardon me. Um, so that's something to keep your eye out on for. Now I, I saved this site, oh, number five, that's why. Good thing I kept notes. Um, so yeah, this is like the augmented reality where she's got these filters on, on her. There was another one that's even more in depth you know what I mean? Um, so if you've seen, like I said, the one with the Star Wars characters and you're holding it up and it looks like your buddy is standing next to stormtroopers and things. Can you give some tips on what to look for for jewelry while thrifting? I can, um, but I'll probably do that on another one. Let me save that right here. Um, because yeah, I, I do buy a lot of jewelry and that was, that was, I was going back and forth today because I did buy some jewelry yesterday. Like I need more but I did it anyway. Um, so, yeah, I did. Uh, all right, so I had a few things that, let me flip over, that I didn't have any kind of uh, display for you for. So let's just talk about those real quick. So some of the other things that I saw that were trending um, topics coming up this year, um, and some of it, again, is kind of rolling over and just gaining momentum from last year, maybe the last couple of years. But, you know, anything that are bots, you know, robots or my guys love this Miposaur and um, what's the other one, the MIP? They got these little robotic things that learn, um, artificial intelligence type things. Again, for reselling, you might look for that kind of thing out there. The Miposaur is like this little dinosaur you can train with this ball and it's a little robot dinosaur thing. But there's other ones that are, that are similar. Um, so as far as food goes, I saw a lot of things to do with animal free, natural vegan type stuff. So that's a big deal. So whether you're making shirts or finding stuff out in the wild that has to do with that. And again, I'm not saying run out and start looking for this. I'm just, this is what I do. This is my process and what I look, I'll do this kind of research and then just kind of keep it in the back of my mind. So when I'm out or I'm thinking of shirt ideas, it's something to pull from and you know, again, it's just trending predictions and things that might that might be good in the future. So another thing that's that's a big trending topic is the royal wedding. Uh, some of my friends in the UK, you'll have to ask, tell me in the chat, some of them are not as as on fire for it. It's pretty big. It's talked about a lot over here, but maybe because it's, she's an American. Um, so the royal wedding is a big deal. I don't know if that's going to um, create a spike in other royal memorabilia type things. I have a lot that I need to go through and research and share with you guys um, that I need to po post. And now is the perfect time for me to do that, right? Because people have their eyes on the royals and there's lots, you know, like The Crown and all these other royalty shows out. So it's out there. But it's kind of been for the last couple of years. This is just this <laughs> momentum moving upwards. Um, also, right now, the Olympics are going on. I didn't create, I mean, you, Olympics is trademarked, so if you're creating shirts and things like that, 
Um, but, you know, you can talk about or make shirts that have to do with the events like skiing or figure skating, things like that. And finding things like that. And, and you can find, you know, vintage like a, a Olympic shirts and things like that from previous years that can sell sell online as well. Another biggie is the Black Panther movie, which is already out. So I don't know. Again, I don't know about making shirts for that, but there might be themes involved. World Cup is coming up. That's a big deal as far as soccer goes. So, so making soccer shirts, looking for anything to do with... I, I mean, soccer is... You might find things might be hit or miss, but... That's out there. And again, political stuff. Right now, that it's really, everything's really polarized. Whether you one way or another, political is political. And like when I make shirts, I don't, I don't make shirts for one party or the other. I'm, I make both. So, you know, equal opportunity. So a lot of things that are political that are, are hot topics right now are the women's movement, civil rights, you know, and then on the other, you know, that's not necessarily the flip side, but also... Um, people that are really, you know, USA, USA all the way, kind of. Not that that's not, I don't know, I came out wrong, but you know what I mean. So, kind of on both sides. There's a lot of um, historical <clears throat> anniversaries going on this in 2018. So, that's something else to keep in mind. You know, 2018 is the 100th anniversary of in the end of World War One. So, not that we're out there finding a ton of World War One stuff, but it's something that you know you might be able to wrap your brain around and, and think of something an event or something in that realm that can be can be used um, also it's the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act which is a pretty big deal so creating shirts that are um, I don't know why I can't think of words today but anyway um, so creating shirts that are promoting that are a good idea. So, again, you got to check trademarks and things like that. Current movies and music will give some good ideas. Yeah, totally. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's next. Yay! There and there are some lo uh, some lots. There are a lot of really cool things coming out in 2018, and I also pull up 2019, um, like the year we're in, and then the next year because, especially if you're trying to get in front of stuff. So it seems like there's always an Avengers movie out or coming out. Um, so I don't know, I don't sell a whole lot of superhero stuff unless it's something more obscure, personally, but I, I know that people have their characters, just like with Disney, people have their favorite character, and I'm sure, you know, it's the same way, like, one of my boys loves Batman, and the other one doesn't really care about superheroes, so, and the Deadpool sequel's coming out, um, Wreck-It Ralph is coming out, I don't see a whole lot of Wreck-It Ralph stuff, yes, Wrinkled in Time is coming, yes, exactly, Rich. Um, another, uh, dinosaurs are kind of always popular. There's always a kid getting into dinosaurs. My little nephew is really into dinosaurs right now, so my, my sister's constantly looking for dinosaur figures for him. That, and they're expensive. I mean, some of them, if you get nice ones, they're really pricey. So if you find ones that are good quality, you can totally flip those. I had, was it a dinosaur? Yeah, I did. It was a T-Rex Folkmanis puppet. And and it was it went for pretty good money too, so dinosaurs, Incredibles too. I'm personally excited about. I don't see a whole lot of incredible stuff out there, but that's that's coming. Han Solo, um, Ant Man. What was another one I was looking at here? Ready Player One. This is based on. It's not a comic. Is it a graphic novel? Somebody's gonna correct me. Somebody's gonna know. Um. Aquaman, Wrinkle in Time, you know, I'm excited for this one too because um, Madeline Langle is an amazing authoress. And then Harry Potter, anything Harry Potter, honestly, if you if you find is probably going to be pretty good. Um, Mowgli, that's Jungle Book, so you might start start thinking about that as well. And now again, I, I caution you, I'm not telling people, go out and buy everything Jungle Book you see, but just something to... Keep in mind that there's, there's a Jungle Book movie coming out. If I find something really cool having to do with Jungle Book, then, you know, maybe if the price is right, I'd take a chance. Um, X-Men, again, <laughs> Corral is in pre-production, so it looks like another 101 Dalmatians. So that's something else that's coming out. Robin, Robin Hood, this is an urban, urban Robin Hood. Okay, cool. Nutcracker. Let's see, there was another one. I saw Fallout go by, Tomb Raider, 
the Grinch. And this is what I was talking about. So the, there's another Grinch movie. And then Mary Poppins, you guys. Mary Poppins Returns is coming out. I'm excited about this. So these are ones. I mean, this is kind of what I do. Scroll through. There's a Christopher Robin movie. That's Winnie the Pooh. I find Winnie the Pooh stuff all the time. So, yeah, I, this is kind of what I do. I just go through and and scroll. Another um, Toy Story movie. This is 2019 coming out. So I'll go through and just kind of see what's out there, what's coming. And, oh, Suicide Squad 2. Wicked. All right. Oh, live action. I heard about this one. Live action Lion King. So, again, just to have something to keep in mind. And this is what I do. This is just my process is what I'm sharing. Um, so as far as toys go, this is the one I was saying, you know, keep in mind, take it with a grain of salt. I was looking through this, and I was like, oh, okay, these are some cool toys that are coming out. And then I realized, here's where you can buy it, and here's where you can buy this, and here's where you can buy this, and, you know, and so on. So take it with a grain of salt when you're looking at different sites and, and you know, see if they're trying to sell to you. As far as the, where can I find, um... Star, yeah, Star Wars, I mean, there's a lot of Star Wars stuff out there for sure, but Han Solo, the movie is coming, Solo, Solo is coming out, so, yeah. Um, Patricia, hang on and I'll answer that at the end, because there's been a few questions that are not on exactly this topic that I'll, I'll address real fast at the end. Um, okay, so, again, with the toys, a lot of these are, you know, new toys that are coming out, so I try to think, well, what can I do that would, because I may not, you know, I'm not going to find these necessarily new when I'm out at garage sales, but I wonder, you know, I'm wondering to myself, oh, I wonder if these new Teddy Rex bins are going to have people that have the old ones, this sense of nostalgia coming back. Will I go out and look for Teddy Rex bins? Probably not. Again, this is one of these sites that are like, oh, this is going to be hot, buy it here. So I think, okay, maybe I have to keep, keep looking and see if it's out there. So keep that in mind when you're looking that some sites are just trying to sell to you. And then another place that I look, let me see if I'm getting off topic again. I think I just opened something up. Uh, let's see, where was I? Yes, I did. Hang on, let me close this. Close, I didn't need to open you. Okay. Hang on, it's not closing. There we go. So I talked about that. I talked about the movie sites I look at. So then the last sort of thing I look at, I have another site I'll show you too. Um, I look at what books are coming out, like what trending books are anticipated rather. And while you may not know the characters or know things that are related to this book, if you start seeing a theme like, oh, it's... For example, let's say I see there's a book, a lot of books about ancient Greece coming out. Now, this is just an example. Let's say I see a lot of books about ancient Greece coming out, and I see a lot of movies about ancient Greece coming out. And I, you know, well, that might be something I start looking for when I'm when I'm out. You know, if I see a lot, and honestly, a lot of the books I see have to do with empowering women, not this bodice ripper. But you know, there's a lot of them that have to do with unplugging, you know, getting out into the wilderness, women's empowerment, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, just something to keep your eyes out for, and keep your mind, keep in the back of your mind. And again, you know, I'm looking at a few different, different sites, yikes, that's not what I'm, no, I don't want to see that. Anyway, zoom, 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 okay, CNN, I can't, we just can't, we can't do it. <laughs> so uh, there was a C that CNN site had a lot of really good tips on it, and then this is one um, business. This is a Pinterest site, so 100 trend predictions from uh, Pinterest. So let's see what I'm seeing up here. Let's see. I'm trying to get it where you guys are looking at it too. Like I can see it. I don't know what's going on with the screen. Hang on. One second, I'll try to speech it. Hi, in the chat. Hello, hello. There. Is that better? That's not even better. Okay. All right. So if you're looking, this is. Um, let me scooch it down so you can see what the URL for this is. Um, Business Pinterest blog: 100 trend predictions for 2018. So what I'll do is, like, it'll say, you know, here's the food section. So I'll look, like, what is hot in foods this year? You know, can I roll that into a shirt idea? Healthy coffee. Okay. 
you know, souping is the new thing that they're predicting. Ghee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, and then travel. Like, what kind of things are we seeing for travel? It looks all hot. Desert, Mexico City, Mediterranean, you know, rock climbing, blah, 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 you know, and home. What do I look? You know, just so I kind of have an idea. Like, what's what's going to be hot this year? Boom. Sage. Does that mean, like, the color? Like, the greens and stuff? <laughs> so, yeah, herringbone. I saw that. Where'd it go? Yeah, herringbone. Which is like a, oh, that's chevron. But a hearing bone is kind of like a woven pattern. Statement ceilings, kids and parenting, wooden toys. So these are just like, I'll just scroll through and, and see like what pom-pom decor. All right. What kinds of things I see. Um, here's women's style. So structured earrings. So that when I hear that, I think, you know, like more geometric shapes, maybe more metals, um, which I've shared some with bronze jewelry. There we go. Wide like berets. Huh? Race. That's something we can look for. Um, anyway, so this is just what I do. Scroll through, see what's out there, see what different sites are saying, and and go with that. Keep it in the back of my mind. It is not at all something that I'm just running out looking for. It's just something that I try to keep in my mind. Okay, so I have some time because the guys went to the pool. Yay. Um, I have some time. Let me flip over because I did get you guys had some questions. Whether they're related to this or not, it's cool. Um, but let me see. Let me skip to this again so I can get that in there. Um, I saw some. I also asked my adult kids, grandkids, what's hot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Julie. Okay, so a couple of the questions I saw pop up that were, or maybe not re related, but that's okay. Um, can you give tips on what to look for for jewelry? I try to look for things that are put together nicely. I try to find things that aren't like scuffed up or messed up. I look for things that I've had a history of selling. Uh, sometimes I take a chance on things. I do have a haul that I'll do Friday, so yeah. And and the and I look for the unusual. So some of the things I bought that you'll see in the haul are mushroom earrings or carrot earrings. I got some funky mod like like mod style earrings. Um, so yeah, sometimes I'll look for things that are more unusual. And then fi like is a good jumping off point figural stuff like animals because they're a collector. So I mean it's a good way to kind of get your feet wet if you're not sure. You know, I got a pig brooch in the hall, and it's not like it's not something I would ever wear. It's not something that I'm just like, eh. you know. But I know there are pig lovers out there. Um, but that's another thing to do too is if you're nervous about trying something, pick up things that you would wear, things that you like, you know, and, and go with that. I mean, there were some things my sister and I were looking at some of the jewelry the other day, and she went after this necklace that I wouldn't have. I personally wouldn't have got, you know, or, or thought it was awesome, but she really liked it. So I was like, okay, it gets yours. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, tax season is here. What can you recommend to pay them? Uh, I, can't, I can't really give tax advice. Um, I use GoDaddy bookkeeping, and I keep tra it syncs up with my bank account. It syncs up with my PayPal, and pay them it's it's you would be surprised at some of the people in the reselling community who, who don't and never have paid their taxes but I won't get into that yeah definitely pay them because they will find out and they will they will want their money from back years and you have you better be ready to pay it so um, yeah just keep track of stuff so and then Patricia was asking where can I find good quality free clip art and vectors free is tough good quality and free <laughs> Uh, or what side is really worth worth the pri price of clip art? Well, <laughs> funny you say that. There's a link down below for, it, I can't remember if I changed the name. The name of the site is Storyblocks. And there's a, a link down below. It may say Graphic Stock um, because it used to be called Graphic Stock. But the, there's a link down below where you can get seven-day free trial. And I think that comes with, I don't know, like 100 downloads for um, vectors and things that you can use. So that's a site that I use a lot is Storyblocks. So I have a link down below where you can get, I think it's a seven day free trial. So there's that as well. 
So if there's no other questions, I, I want to thank you guys for coming. And if you have questions later or comments, leave them in the comment section down below because I always read them and I've gotten, you know, I answer everybody's comments and questions. So if you've got any ideas for videos or questions you've got, then, then definitely leave them there and we will all get to them. So let's see, how many friends do we have watching? I never did get a chance to go peek. So 59 viewers, go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. And we will call it. Tomorrow, if you're a mercher, if you're a print-on-demand person, um, we have our merch talk moved to tomorrow at noon. And it's going to be the regular crew. And I've asked Nick Eden to come on. So he's going to be able to pop in for a bit. So that'll be cool. Just There's so much going on in the print-on-demand world. And if you're interested, if you haven't gotten into that, maybe you're not, you know, you're in merch, you're not in merch, um, I've got a link down below for Printful, which is a, not through merch. It's another print on demand where you can sync it with Etsy. I've done tons of videos, so I've got a link down there. I've got a link for 40 free listings on Etsy if you're interested in selling. I cross post on where I can. I cross post on Etsy and eBay. So. Thanks everybody for coming to watch. And again, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, sub because I am planning a pretty cool giveaway. Uh, I'm almost at that 16,000 subscribers. So thanks everybody for making that possible. And I will talk to you guys later. Happy Valentine's Day.